like 6 30 but then the number of people like tourists that come into morocco the passport control i mean our border control yeah immigration yeah there were lots of people there and that took us almost an hour yeah. to navigate through that maze and then get to the um table and then stamp our passports and come out so yeah the airport is nice um the airport is i think it's nice i think the outside is finer than the inside yeah the inside is not as fine but the outside is really yeah. good another thing i want to say here is so we changed our money to dirhams so mm -hmm. in morocco they use dirhams we changed our money to dirhams in morocco yeah and the rates in morocco were way better than the rates in um the london airport where we left from in stansted airport they were giving us a rate of 8.9 dirhams to one pound mm -hmm. and that was the best they could do yeah like the standard was 8.5 or something when we go to morocco i think the least we saw was 11, 11 point something yeah, yeah. 11. it's nice right from outside i don't think the inside is all that but the outside is great also the ride from the the ride from the airport to the hotel it was long it was really long really but long. yeah but later we realized that the driver went through a longer route because he wanted to drop off one of his friends yeah yeah it was long and we we're so tired but then when we got to the hotel when we got to the hotel the hotel made up for real like it was everything we had hoped for mm -hmm. and more like it was really good and it just made up for the long trip <laughs> This is beautiful. Oh my god. You guys, this hotel is sick. Look at our room. Wow. Look at our room. We just arrived. Wow. Look at Jesus. This is beautiful. Or I'll give a proper tour in the morning. Oh my god. Look at the toilet. Look at the toilet. See the fixtures. And look at here. That wall is now blue. Yeah, it's really like Morocco. See the wall is like no color mm -hmm. wow jason this is nah this is amazing so the next morning we woke up as early as 5 30 a.m you guys i kid you not because apparently the hot air balloon thingy has to be in the morning yeah, <laughs> early in the morning so you can see the sunrise exactly. so and one thing I, can, I want to say here is that they really keep to time like all the times we booked like a taxi they were there right on time yeah they arrived they gave us like they were like welcome to you on the table just you know to keep us warm and then while they were like inflating the balloons and stuff at that point i was already reconsidering like am i sure i want to do this am i sure i want to do this <laughs> Finally, we go on the hot air balloon and we took off. So, it was it was a nice experience. Um, I think I really enjoyed it. It was much smoother than I expected. Yes. Yeah, and there were times the balloon was quiet, and I was like, oh wow, it's like really serene. And stuff yeah, like that, so. I agree. Even like when we were in the air, I was thinking it wouldn't be very stable. Like it was so stable. Like I was scared initially, but then afterwards, I just like got into it. I wasn't scared. I wasn't worried anymore. Yeah. And then also we had a really funny pilot. We yeah. kept making like jokes here and there, and saying some scary things. <laughs> um, but the guy was really cool, and yeah. he made the whole experience to rate the whole air balloon experience out of 10 i'll give it an eight i think the same yeah eight because it's not as exciting 
as you would expect but yes it's still it's still an experience it's a joy to go on it it's it's a very nice experience actually. yeah it's and it's something beautiful. like we've done it we've done it like yeah. we have the experience now it's not yet definitely it's not as exciting like when you're in the yeah. air after a while you get tired because like i just looking at the same thing looking at the same thing yeah. looking at the same thing yeah. but yeah it was good it was good i think maybe then because it's morocco as well so like the landscape yeah the landscape is boring yeah. the landscape just saying dry dry trees and shrubs everywhere not yeah. same day where you go see i mean there's a mountain hill ridge please, that we please. saw where it was, the sun was coming it's from. just shrubs and dry dry things to be seen on the ground <laughs> so, anyway Okay guys, so we just finished the hot air conditioning. <laughs> it was a nice experience, but I'm not doing it again. I'm done with it. One time only. So we're heading now to the cars and then they'll take us back. Lego. <laughs> us for moroccan breakfast yeah and let me just breakfast berber berber ber waiting berber breakfast berber ber breakfast that's yeah. what they call it <laughs> and let me just put it here moroccan people like sweet things mm -hmm. i can't explain how sweet everything is the pancakes we had at the hotel super sweet yep. the barber breakfast super sweet the tea that they gave us the mm. tea that the guy made mm. super sweet so they like sugary things like they like sweet things a lot <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't like camels. You don't like, like camels? I don't like camels. Um, I mean, after this, I'm realizing I don't like camels. Really? Why? They they seem very very rugged. <laughs> yeah, I think they're aggressive. They don't yeah. send your papa. And also, like they just pee on at will, poo at will. Like they can just walk and be peeing and be shitting. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, for me, I think I enjoyed the camel ride. The only thing is that after a while, my thighs were hurting because like it's wide, like the camel to sit on it. But I enjoyed it. When it started moving, it takes a while to get used to, to get the used to motion, it. the way yeah. it moves. But once you do that, it's fine. How would you rate that? Out of ten, come right. I think seven, six point five, seven. Yeah, yeah, I think same. Mine is seven. Yeah. I think it's seven out of ten. It was good. It was good. That's just what I'll say. It was good. Yeah, it was good. Right. Okay. I don't think I can ride a camel come on by myself. Yeah, definitely not. Mm -hmm. uh Let's talk about the hotel, the things at the hotel. So, so we're just going to walk you through all the things we saw at the hotel that was really nice. First of all, the landscape is amazing. The layout, the decor, the way everything is just laid out in the hotel, really, really nice. Yeah, the hotel is really nice. I think it's one of the best hotels I've been to. Yeah, so life. far, me too in my life. Yeah. <laughs> the hotel is nice.
have like a different section so they have a big pool and the pool is for everybody then they have a children pool and one thing i like about the hotel is like they have like they are family focused yeah. they have lots of engagements for the children they even have a children's club where children yeah. can go a building and play games there <laughs> Over 10 for me. So have like a gym and um gym center and then like um was it volleyball a big badminton they have all of yeah, that yeah yeah that and the other thing they have like a theater where they put on shows every now and then like a whole theater like a cinema thingy mm -hmm. and then also the cocktail stand there's a cocktail stand where you can have like drinks unlimited as much as you want just gonna have the drinks and that's because we paid for all inclusive yeah so our hotel was all inclusive so what that means is breakfast lunch dinner everything we've already paid for it and i think that's the best thing if you're ever going to morocco please take all inclusive it just saves you money yeah because you don't have to worry about um the price yeah like of buying food and stuff like that if you don't want to go out you don't have to think that oh i need to eat you can eat at the hotel exactly and the food was always good they had buffet yeah breakfast and all and the time like we were in the hotel it was buffet like breakfast was buffet lunch buffet dinner buffet. so you have varieties and you can pick what you want to eat part-time mm -hmm. um point we're going to the J jardin majorelle yeah <laughs> what is jardin majorelle is a private garden that's what they say and it was done by one artist from france yeah the, the garden was created by an artist in france and yves Saint Laurent. yeah i think it was yves, yves Saint Laurent. Laurent. i can pronounce it ysl now bought the property so it's just a very picturesque a picturesque place where people just go to to take pictures um, you just walk through the garden, there are different places where you can take pictures. That's basically what it is. Yeah, it's basically like a glorified garden um, that they use to catch tourists. <laughs> so, yeah. And Jason was saying that he feels like, oh, that the place is for women, like to take pictures on Instagram. Because he was not like digging the whole thing, it was just for pictures. Yeah, it's basically for the aesthetics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the touch of your hand makes me. And then also something you would notice in Mar in Morocco a lot is you see a lot of horse carriages. Yeah. Like they are a lot. They they literally move on the road like cars. And people yeah. like pay. We're supposed to have a ride with one of them, like a, a horse car carriage ride. Mm -hmm. But we're unable to do that because of time, and we're just like busy. But yeah, it's something you see on the streets of Morocco a lot. People pay and they, you know have those rides. I think Mar Marrakesh. I don't know about the whole Morocco okay Marrakesh yeah, where Marrakesh. we went so I can't see for the whole because, country because there are lots of tourists in Marrakesh yeah and then let me just say this here so I got henna done and you guys don't be like me please get your henna in the city center yeah they took me to an enclosed place and I pray and I and I paid enclosed place price i paid i paid like triple or double was it triple or double usually triple, triple the price i and would that have was paid after we beat down the price after yes exactly we they told us the price was 300 dirhams we beat it down to 150. 150. i paid 150 for one hand which is ab absolute nonsense I paid one fifty for one one hand of um henna. what's it called henna, and then in the city center they do it for fifty dirhams for one hand. I think it's even for the two. I'm not even sure if I didn't ask, mm -hmm. but like it's fifty dirhams. So if you're ever in Morocco, make your henna in the city center. I don't allow anybody to bubble you or take you anywhere. <music> Hi guys, so here's the room. Let's just give you guys a quick room tour. Absolutely love the decor. Absolutely 100% love it. Over here, there's a chair right next to the bed and a mirror, full length mirror right here. And the telly is there, like um, the wardrobe drawer, more like drawer space. 
and then a safe and a fridge yep there's a fridge right there and this is like the wardrobe just slides and then you can put your clothes here and but to just put your bags right here is the bedroom our oh, stuff is already all over the place but this is what the mirror looks like i love that they have like a makeup mirror as well um yep really love it so it's like blue and what i call it a shade of brown that's a shower there you go in from here um okay so now we'll be going to the spa to have a massage in the hotel here there's an in-house spa so i'll be getting a massage just not so we're getting a massage it's been a very long day so we just need that to you know ease off and relax and afterwards we'll just chill for the night all right Let's go. Mm. So yeah, this is the henna. This is what it looks like, you guys. It's really nice. Love it. Yeah. The first day was very busy for us. We did a lot of things in the first day. And when we're done, we're really tired. Also, yeah, I think I forgot to mention this. The hotel had a spa. So we had the we booked massage for both of ourselves. Yeah. Um we had a massage that evening. was we just like chilled and then had dinner yeah and that was it for the first day super super busy super exhausted but it was fun as well yeah as well oh yeah yeah every night so the only i think the only problem we had <laughs> was the live band um played till 11 p.m so yes so we and we early. could hear yeah we could hear the live band from our room which was annoying some nights but when you sit there and you're playing the music it's cool it's just a yeah. like it's a good um way to just chill for the evening yeah yeah all right see you in the next video see ya bye <laughs>